Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to do all the redstone for the timing on a racetrack like this. And in another video I'll show you how to make uh, the actual racetrack part of things rather than the timing system. So in this tutorial I'm gonna, we're going to basically build this but over there and you can follow along. I'm gonna use andesite because in the, it's very easy to see like which block is what uh, but you can use any block. Okay to begin we're gonna find a, sp a nice straightaway on our ice track that we can build on um, and in your actual racetracks that you guys build you'll probably want a much more complicated racetrack than just a simple oval but it's up to you guys whatever you want. Okay, so to begin, we're gonna go up two blocks and build uh, some shroom lights. This is where your boat is gonna start. Okay, next we're gonna put in just some glass like this, so you can see out the front. Okay, after you have that glass in, we're gonna put in a couple more blocks, up three blocks high. Uh, cover it with some slabs here and I'm also going to use stair blocks to help encase it. Next we're going to put in some slabs uh, and these slabs are going to be where the player will stand. Okay now that you have your slabs in and everything we can go ahead and start building some of the redstone. So we're going to need some sticky pistons, repeaters, uh, all the good stuff. So after you have those buttons and signs in place we're going to go down below the racetrack um, put in some temporary blocks so we can place down some pistons. Uh, so you'll want an air block between the piston and the shroom light and you're gonna want to do the same thing on the other side just like that. Okay next we're gonna have to put in some blocks here so just like so um, and then we're gonna add a repeater on four ticks of delay into a redstone torch with a redstone dust and after you do that these two pistons down here should be extended and then we're going to go ahead and put a block on top of the repeater and carry put some more redstone dust down okay next we're going to have to put down three more blocks like so okay then you're going to have to put down a redstone torch along with some extra blocks here with redstone dust. Uh, I made a mistake here. This block should actually be a slab. Boom. And after you do that, these two pistons, all four of the pistons should be extended. And you can make sure it all works by pressing this button. And you can see all the blocks get retracted at the exact same time. And it's perfect. Okay, next I'm going to add in some more blocks just to help cover up uh, more of the redstone here. Um, yeah. So... Okay, and then I'm also going to just extend a couple more blocks back. There. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're gonna put in a barrel, a nether barrel, a hopper, and a note block. And then I'm also gonna put two signs down here. Um, but we'll and we'll put some more text on those in a second. Or we'll put the text on those at the end of the video. Uh, as I walk through what everything does. So you know how all the redstone works. Okay, now we're going to put in all the timing systems, so we're going to put in a temporary block, a dropper sideways, a dropper down, a uh, temporary block, a hopper pointing into that block, and then also a dropper pointing upwards. Um, then we're going to put in a block here, some redstone dust, and a repeater. One super quick thing I forgot is we need a block here with a comparator. Uh, this comparator should be pointing directly into this hopper here. So, yeah. 
Okay, now if we put in, we just need to put in uh, one item. It doesn't matter what this item is. I'll just put in a redstone dust, but it can really be whatever you want. Okay, so the next part on our redstone timing system, it's gonna be a little weird. We need two observers pointing into the note block, one over, one down, and, and pointing into a, a solid block. One air block. We need a redstone dust here and a repeater pointing into a block so now if this note block gets triggered you can see this redstone uh oh, you can see this redstone uh, repeater right here will get triggered so we'll do it again there we go okay so now we're gonna have to add in a couple blocks so we need one here on that barrel right here and then i'm gonna have to break this observer for a second my apologies to put a comparator right there and then let's put that observer back and this comparator is going to be pointing into a block here uh, this block here and then we're going to put a redstone dust there with a redstone torch here and then we're going to go down two blocks put down another redstone dust within a redstone torch uh, we're gonna go over one block and down one put down a redstone dust and then go down two extra blocks boom boom and then over some oops and then right before you get to the ice here we're gonna put down two repeaters uh, they should be on four ticks of delay each of them and then now that we're under the ice, we're gonna go over a couple blocks and just like that. We're gonna put in some redstone dust and a bunch of repeaters all on one tick of delay. And we also need to bust out the ice for a second so that we can put in some sticky pistons. Uh, so I'm gonna put down some temporary blocks to make it easier to place them. So boom, like that. And then we can put the ice back in and remove these blocks that we put down. Okay, so before we do any more redstone, we're gonna do some of the finish line stuff. So if you look over here, I have uh, some cactuses, a tripwire string, and just like a black and white checkered flag just for the finish. Uh, you can, you don't have to do all of that, but. Uh, however you want to decorate it right but uh, this is what I'm gonna do so if we go over here okay so if we go to where this note block is here if we go down one this block right here is where the finish line should be so this is where I'm gonna put in my checkered flag um... oh I'm blind so yeah, we're just gonna put in a checkered flag really quick. Boom. Just like so. And oh, I missed a block. And then we're also gonna need some hoppers. Okay, after you have the wall here, we're gonna put down some, uh, just some blocks here. Uh, and this is so you can put some sand down. It doesn't have to be red sand. It can be whatever sand you want. But there should be two blocks between the cactus. And then one block between the barrier. And now, um, I put down a temporary block here. I'll change it. There we go. And we're gonna put down a bunch of hoppers that should all point eventually into there. So one there, and two there. Okay, now we need a tripwire hook, so we're gonna go out one block here, and out one block there, and then we're gonna add, let's see, tripwire, and we also need some string, uh, and this is to detect when the player finishes. And then you can see there's an air block below the tripwire, so we're gonna put an extra hopper there. And also one there. And if you throw in an item, 
should all end up right here. Perfect. And so now we need to make a dropper elevator to move the boats up. So if we put a block, let's see, I'm just gonna put a temporary block there with a dropper pointing upwards and a hopper pointing into it. So now we can build a quick uh, dropper elevator. So three droppers high. And then I'm also gonna add uh, in this main area here, we're gonna break this slab for a minute, put down a dropper and put the slab back. And then underneath the, all the redstone here, we're gonna put in some hoppers. So one, two, three, uh, four hoppers over. And then I'm getting all sandwiched in my redstone. And then one, two hoppers this way. So now we need a quick little circuit down here. Um, so we're gonna put down a block. Just like this, okay, like a little zigzag thing. And then a block there and two blocks there. And a block there and there. So you'll have a little like Tetris shape thing. Anyways. Okay, and then we need a comparator, a repeater, and some redstone dust. So the comparator will go right here. We'll need a redstone dust uh, here. A repeater on just one tick of delay. And two more redstone dust. And then also put this comparator on subtract mode. So this little light is on. Okay, and then after you have this in place, we're gonna put an observer looking down and an observer looking over. So now, if we come back here and throw eight cactuses in, we should see up at the top, eventually we'll get eight, eight cactuses in here, which is perfect. So this, this dropper is where all your boat, extra boats can be, so we can go ahead and fill that up there. Cover this back up. And voila. So now I'm going to edit this sign. So this button is going to say uh, start race. And this sign is going to be a new boat. And, but right now you can see this button doesn't actually point anywhere. It just goes into nothing. So we're going to add some blocks here to fix that. So we're going to add uh, some repeaters. Boom. And boom. They should each be on one tick of delay. And then this next part is going to get a little weird. We're going to put a salt block there. And then we're going to go underneath all of our redstone. Uh, put a block there, 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 and then some redstone dust. Then we're going to come back up, put in a block there, there, and there, and then fill in the rest with redstone dust. So it's a little weird, but it all works out in the end. And so now, if we have an empty spot, let me press this button. You can see there's a boat there that you can pick up and place down, and you can start the race. Okay, now we're gonna change out this sign to be I'm just gonna say your time, and I'm gonna add a little arrow uh, so you can see, or so I'll point to where your time is. It's this barrel. And then this note block, if you hit it, it's going to uh, reset timer uh, manually. So basically, if the player never actually finishes the race, you can always press this note block and it'll just stop the timer. Uh, the other thing we're going to need is uh, some items to time everything. So we're just going to fill this all the way up with whatever item you want. Uh, I'm just using gold nuggets, but it can really be whatever you want. Um, so yeah. 
And then if we press this button, it should start filling this uh, bottom barrel with items, uh, just like that. And then if a player in a boat comes by and triggers this, it should have stopped the timer. Uh oh. Okay, so it looks like I forgot to put down a uh, redstone dust there. So now if we trigger the system, just like that. Timer stopped and you can take those items and you can put them back in this uh, upper barrel here. And also one thing to note, one item will be in this hopper at all times. Uh, and that's okay. There should be one item in there. Uh, so yeah. And then let's say you started the timer or the race. The timer's going. And then to stop the timer, you can another way to stop it is to just press this note block. And that will stop the timer instead of having to finish the race. And you can put the items back in the upper barrel. You'll also notice that there's this empty wall over here, uh, and this can be used to put everyone's times on the wall. Uh, so you can be like, oh, uh, I got, uh, I finished the race in exactly 64 and 31 items, or something like that. You can just say how many items you got, or how many items it took you to finish the race. And everyone can put their times down. So let's say Bob got 64 and 23 items. So that would mean Bob was faster than mine by 8 items. And you can just have like a wall of signs to put everyone's times on. Um, another thing is this note block is kind of loud. Um, but you can put blocks on top of it and it won't make any more noise. So yeah. If you guys liked uh, this video or that you like the concept, uh, you should try building it or show your friends to see if they'll want to build it. Because this is a great mini game for a server. I'll also be making another video uh, that will help you guys uh, build a cool racetrack rather than just the redstone. You can build an actually cool track that people will enjoy. And that will be released uh, really soon. Anyways, thanks for watching. See ya.